to you, welcome to the video, my name is Justin Zader, and today we'll be going over every single skin that I bought during January. We don't have too much this month, we only have, I think, yeah, we only have seven skins, wow, including Snowstone, uh, Snowstone's still the same rating, I'll talk about it real fast, uh, only good thing from our crew pack is the back one with pickaxe, I do not like the skin or the rack. Uh, I apologize for that, for people, who, I know you guys, are, some of you guys really, really like that skin. It just, it's just not my type of skin, you know, like, if I will I'll talk about the, the new fruit pack, and I think it's the first fruit pack in, like, two months. Okay, now I'll talk about the skins I bought this month. So the first one, we have Kata Captain. Uh, out of all the Cobra Kai skins, I decided to buy her because he looks like Vanessa from Security Reach. And this is the closest thing to have to that, so I was like, you know what, perfect. I don't know, I just kind of see it. You, I, if, if you look close enough, you can kind of see it, uh, but yeah. These skins are actually really, really good bang for your buck because you have three edit styles and they all look really, really good. You got the black and yellow one, you got the red and black, and you also got the white edit style, the white and black. And honestly, these skins are really good for combos as well. I definitely recommend picking one up if you haven't. Uh, Had a Captain, aka Vanessa, gets a solid 7 out of 10. Okay, now we're going on to Spider-Man. He has a tier 100 skin of our... Of the season, uh, I'm really close to getting the Future Foundation style. By the way, guys, uh, I really like Spider-Man. I, I like I said, I like the skin a lot. I'm very happy we got him at 100. And honestly, I cannot decide between which two skins are better: this skin or the No Way Home version. They're both top tier skins. But the, my, I think the way why I kind of prefer him a little bit of right now is the Beno, it's the Symbiote suit. Honestly. The symbiote suit is just so cool, like it's uh, I was never expecting it, but everybody loves the symbiote suit, you know? You can't, you know, we can't have a Spider-Man suit without the symbiote suit, now I think about it. Because it's so iconic, you know? But besides that, it's a really, really amazing tier 100 skin, and honestly, we also get, you'll see, oh yeah, I'll technically get a Miles skin in there as well. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10, obviously. If I don't give it a 10 out of 10, you guys would be literally bullying me in the reply, and if, and if, and I wouldn't. I would always see this skin 10 out of 10. It's, it's fucking Spider-Man. Okay, uh, Nightcap, here we go. Another skin that a lot of people were happy about him finally releasing. He was leaked all the way back in Chapter 2, Season 3. He was teased last season as an NPC on the map, and he finally came out, and I'm happy to report this skin is incredible. It has a really, really awesome color scheme to it. It has... Just a really, really awesome glow at style as well. So this whole set is also pretty good. I love the back with the pickaxe, although it was free and it was kind of... I don't know, the pickaxe is cool. I kind of like it. It's like a mushroom pickaxe. Uh, the pickaxe and this but is good, but the skin is the best thing from the set, obviously. It's just really, really awesome. Great color scheme, amazing for combos. And honestly, I'm gonna give... He's also very unique. Like, we don't have a single Mushroom Man skin in Fortnite. Like, this is the first unique skin we've gone in a, in a hot minute, so, yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna give Madcap a solid 10 out of 10. I really like him a lot. Actually, no, 9 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10 is fair. Okay, Clint Barton. Uh, this is the skin that came out with the Hawkeye collab. We got, I think it was like two, it was like a week ago. So we got this skin a week ago, and I like this skin. It has, it's Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye. He's really cool. But the only thing, my only issue is I do wish maybe the purple was a little bit more vibrant. I feel like it's a little too dark. Because, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, also, I think the face is a little bit off as well. I don't, I don't really see Hawkeye in him because it's supposed to be based off the show. I think it was Kate, but I feel like Kate, I don't know. She has a more brighter color scheme. So I'm going to give Hawk, Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye, a 7 out of 10. I think he's a good pickup. And then you have Kate Bishop here. Like I said, she has the she has the better color scheme out of the two. Her purplish pinkish color scheme is like a lot more bright and vibrant, so it's easier to make combos with her. I'm gonna give Kate a solid eight out of ten. But both of these skins are both pretty good. I'm not I'm not disinclined here. Uh, Green Goblin is a skin I was not expecting to get at all, but I am so glad we did. I love this skin. It has an amazing color scheme. The pickaxe, everything from a set is incredible, and honestly, Green Goblin, this might be a hot take. I think he's one of the best Marvel skins we have ever seen. Like, he is so cool. I, I mean, I've been using this skin all the time, guys. Like, I really, really like Green Goblin. And I'm gonna give Green Goblin a solid 10 out of 10. Once again, it could be a hot take, but I don't care. This is my opinion. I love Green Goblin, and he should have been the career for last month. 
Okay, that's gonna piss people off. Okay, now we're gonna talk about Aftermath here. Aftermath is our first- Oh, that's the new one. Aftermath is our first skin for February, and it's two awesome edit styles here. And honestly, this could be another hot take, because people really don't seem like the skin. I really, really, really like the skin. I think he has an incredible set. The pickaxe and the backling and the wrap are all really, really good. The skin itself is fantastic. I love the color scheme. I love the put off in it style. It's just kind of a mix between Cloak Star and Party Trooper. That's what I get these vibes of. And honestly, it's a really, really awesome fruit pack skin. And it's from the survey as well. And you know what? You got to fight me in the comments all you want. Because I'm going to be making a comedy for him, but I'm going to give this guy a solid 9 out of 10. I really, really like Aftermath. I'm so happy we finally got a good crew pack skin. I'm not saying that Snow Stone was bad. I don't think... Okay, maybe I was. Okay, I, I really don't like Snow Stone. I apologize. Same thing with Keep Assassin. Keep Assassin was not needed for the crew, but I get it while they did it for the story, something with Snow Stone, but we finally got another amazing crew pack hood classic. That's what I'm calling it. Okay, now there's one skin in here that is not here, which I gotta go to my locker to find real fast. Which I want to mention because I didn't talk about her last month. This is going to be Dawn. Dawn was a skin I still consider the first skin of the year. And she's a, she's a, once again an incredible skin. Bang for your buck as well. Like She's amazing. I love both of her edit styles. I'm gonna give Dawn a 10 out of 10. I know I talk about Dawn a lot. I gave her a really high rating in the combo video. If you want to try to see one more in depth, go to there, but yeah, I really like the skin. And that's about it for today's video, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye!